Yo, what's up guys, Boss here, and I'm back with another YouTube video, and this time we're gonna try to get 12 wins in this grand challenge. We're currently 8-0 right now, so really good start using this new Mortar Graveyard deck that's been going around like crazy in ladder, competitive, and pretty much everywhere. It's just so strong on defense because you have the Knight, Cannon Cart, as well as the Hunter, and then your offense is also insanely strong because you have the Mortar, of course, that it can be used as a win condition, as well as the Graveyard. Obviously, you have a few different win conditions in this deck. You can get the cannon card to lock on the tower. You can go for offensive mortars and graveyards. So multiple ways of getting damage and chip along with spear goblins at the bridge. And you don't have to worry about air because the hunter is just so good against balloon and lava hound as well. Wanted to make a video on this deck because as I said, it's just been so popular the last few days and it's kind of been trending in the game. I've just been seeing more and more people use it. You can also use fireball instead of poison if you want to try that out. I've seen a couple different people use that variant as well and have success with it. But anyway, before we get in the first game, if you guys want to support me, you can use my creator code BOSS. Remember to enter, uh, you know, someone's code in every week because it does end up resetting. So make sure you do enter in someone's code and you can use it any, uh, any Super Slug game. Help support me, help support the channel. And I really appreciate all you guys who do use my code. It means a lot. So let's go ahead and get into the first game. 8-0 right now. I'm going to try to get to um, the 12 wins. And also, guys... um. I might at the very end of the video show this on my other phone, but I actually found out how to do a glitch in Grand Challenges, use a four card deck. So I might make a video on that tomorrow if it's not patched, showing you how you can actually use four cards in a Grand Challenge. I know it might sound crazy. I actually made a tweet about it too, so if you want to check my Twitter, you can, but I'm going to explain it in more detail tomorrow in a video possibly if they haven't patched it by then but i'm gonna just see but if you want to get a head start at seeing it you can check my twitter i made a tweet about it on there so this guy's gonna have bar putt so he's probably using eagle or graveyard most likely i'm gonna go for a cannon cart he's just gonna elixir golem Luckily, that healer does get taken out, which means his Elixir Golem push is going to be very easy to stop. It's pretty much that healer that keeps everything alive, but when the healer is dead, it's nice and easy to stop. So we're going to go for a push now because we're getting so much Elixir. We can go for Spear Goblins behind the Electro, Jag uh, Electro Dragon. Excuse me, it's not going to hit it because... The it was focused on the night and everything was spaced out, so we're gonna get quite a lot of damage, putting us in the lead. Even though he got that damage from the elixir golem early on, we're just gonna go for a bar barrel to tank. And now we know what he's using, so we got that going for us. I'm also gonna go for a mortar because his e drag is out of rotation, he's gonna be forced to drop a ground card on top of this. We can actually go for a cannon cart to try to finish off these barbarians a little bit quicker to keep the mortar alive. He's going to go for a fireball. Cannon cart should lock on the barbarian hut. We can hunter as well. We can use poison as well on defense to defend his eagle and pushes. I'm going to pressure the opposite lane. This is what you should do versus eagle and pressure the opposite lane so they can't, you know, build up a massive push that you can't end up defending. We got to watch out though because he might go for some dual lane pressure. We'll have to see. Yep, that's what I was expecting. We should be fine, though, because we're getting so much elixir, and we should be able to cycle back to another mortar and go for a defensive poison. I'm going to go for a hunter as well. Cannon cart might end up locking on the tower. No, it barely doesn't, but it's going to distract the eagle one, which is great. Going to help DPS it down. I'm going to go for a knight. Or we'll go for a mortar here to distract the blobs. Should be really easy to defend because the eagle is already broken. Healer is dead. And now we can go for a graveyard because we're up quite a lot of elixir. We're going to go ahead and poison the e-drag. He's forced to drop something else. And the hunter is going to get a little bit of chip on the tower. So all we need to do is cycle back to one more poison. Which should be pretty easy to do since... Um... We're in double. Barbarrel, really nice job there, pulling the healer back and also distracting the E-Drag. 
High Knight, and then three ticks from the Poison will end the game. One, two, three, that's gonna be GG. Really nice win versus Eagle Lombard Putt. You know, Eagle Lum, even though the healer ended up getting that 10%, you know, hit points nerf, and the heal spirit, of course, getting two nerfs, still a very strong deck that we see, you know, quite a bit. Okay, so we found a game, uh, looks like this is Oyasu, like his mini account, maybe? Because look at that, like it says Oyasu backwards. I don't know if you guys noticed that. Like, look at his name, it says Oyasu. Like, backwards basically at least unless i'm seeing things that's what it looks like because oh why oh yasu hmm. okay so he's gonna go canning cart okay so he's got royal hogs canning cart I'm gonna go for a knight. Mortar. His royal hogs are out of cycle. And we got the hunter kind of like tanking for the. Okay, he's gonna fireball. No hit from the mortar, unfortunately. So far, it doesn't look like he has amazing graveyard responses, and fireball is his spell, so. We have to figure out what the rest of his deck is, but it's kind of just looking like a Royal Hog Fireball Bait deck. Maybe he's got Magic Archer. Not entirely sure, though. I wonder if he's got a building, too. I don't really know. So he's just going to let the Cannon Cart lock on his, so they're kind of just going to cancel each other out. I'm completely fine with that. Pretty much nothing happened there, essentially. Um, go ahead and cycle Spear Goblins. He's gonna go for a flying machine. I think I'm gonna poison that just because it's pretty annoying and I want to get rid of it before it gets too much value. Go for a mortar. He's gonna go bar putt. Maybe he's gonna go royal hogs right now. Nah, he's gonna go zappies. Hopefully the mortar can end up shooting so the zappies go down. Nah, it doesn't unfortunately. I'm gonna go graveyard aggressively because I feel like after that bar put, he's pretty low on elixir. He has to go for a defensive fireball. Obviously not what he wants to have to do. We're going to go for a defensive mortar. Go for a cannon cart in the left lane. And is he going to go for Royal Hogs? No, he's going to go for a flying machine. Good uh, bar barrel, but I'm not sure if that was the best flying machine. We're going to go for a graveyard. And hopefully we can get some chip here. Ooh, nice poison value. We're going to be able to hit the flying machine. And the zappy should go into the poison as well. Maybe he's going to go royal hogs now in pressure. He's been playing this really passively. No, he's going to set up for another bar putt. So we're going to mortar once again. Pretty good fireball value on his end. Hitting the... Ooh, he's actually going to miss the bar barrel though. So I'm going to go in for a graveyard because we have a pretty nice counter push coming in here. And this poison is going to clean up the cannon cart. And it's also going to kill the zappies. That's going to be GG. Nice win there. He didn't really have a lot of graveyard answers. Not really sure if that was the real Oyasu. I'm going to take a look at his profile. See if maybe it was a mini account or something. I'm going to just go ahead and double check. I'm kind of curious. Probably probably wasn't. I just thought there was a chance it was because it kind of looks like it's Oyasu, but like backwards almost. But I don't like I don't it I don't think it's him just looking at his profile. Like I would assume his mini account would at least have like you know a grand challenge badge or like something, but I don't think it was him. But anyway, 10 and 0 right now. Looking really good here. Just need two more wins to get the 12 and 0. And um, if it takes, you know, too long to find a game, I'll just edit out the search time. But here we go. We got in a game fairly quickly. 411 wins reverse RF. Uh, RF Maserati. Interesting. Kind of a fancy name. Mass Maserati. Never heard something like that before. He's going to go for a barbell. He's going to go for a hunter. Could be a mirror matchup. Could also be RG. It's probably one of the two things. It's either going to be a 
an exact mirror matchup or RG. Um, but actually, it looks like it's something completely different, so I was wrong. I'm going to go for a Mortar. This is going to force something out of him. We're going to figure out what he has. He's going to go for a Mega Knight, so that kind of makes sense, to be honest. We're going to go ahead and let... I might need a Cannon Cart. I hope I don't need to, because that would be a lot of Elixir having to spend on defense. We're good. We're good. I think he's up maybe like one or two Elixir, but we're, we're overall fine. Now he's not even up Elixir, because he just went for... A bar barrel. Okay. So we'll cycle Hunter in the back. He's going to go for a Hunter as well. Um, I'm going to Mortar. Alright. He's just going to Cage. That's fine. Hmm. Not really a good fisherman, if I'm being honest. Mortar might even get two hits. We'll see. It's going to be close. Two hits, yeah. I'll take it. You might need to go for a defensive graveyard. I'm not sure. Sometimes on Mega Knights, it's a pretty good play. So he's just going to not support that Mega Knight at all, which is pretty surprising. I mean, he had the Elixir to do so, but he chose to just play passively there. I wasn't expecting that. We're going to poison this. I think it's pretty good value. I believe he has Mega Knight Graveyard, but I'm pretty comfortable defending his his Graveyard even without the poison. I think, I think I'm, I'm fine. Wow, he's going to go for a Graveyard opposite lane. That's a really interesting play. Um, I was expecting him to go Graveyard same lane. You don't, with Mega Knight Graveyard, typically switch up and do that. That's not something you see very often. We're going to take advantage of that, though, and go really, really aggressive. Um, with the Graveyard, he's probably going to E-Wiz by the time he gets it down. Poison and the remainder of the Graveyard will finish off the game. Really nice and easy win there. Obviously, it was a mistake him going in the opposite lane. He should have gone for a graveyard in the left lane where he had his Mega Knight down and all the support cards. That was an obvious mistake. Dumping seven elixir in the other lane where I could easily just clean it up with a bar barrel and spear goblins, get, you know, a three elixir positive elixir trade, and then just overwhelm him on my counter push in the opposite lane. So we'll see here if we can find our last game pretty quickly. Um, and this, yeah, I, I, well, I guess I'm being a little confident saying it's the last game, but potentially the last game, hopefully the last game, to get the clean 12 and 0. Alright guys, we found potentially our last game. We're versus Igor. Um, wait a minute. Is this the real Igor? Um, I'm actually not sure. I'm like low key kind of curious. Is this the real Igor? If it is, I'm I'm kind of a little nervous just because we're using mortar. So Igor obviously, if it is the real one, knows the ins and outs of mortar very very well. But I don't know if it's the real one. I'm gonna go for a king card in the back. Hmm. I don't know if this is the real Igor. Yeah, I don't think it is. He doesn't seem to be playing that well. I'd be pretty surprised if it is. I'm not saying it's not, but... I just... I don't expect him to... Like, I don't... That Ice Wizard he played wasn't the best, and I also... I wouldn't expect Igor to run something like Barb Hut Graveyard. Just that doesn't feel like his playstyle. He typically runs, like, faster cycle decks. I've seen him run Barb Hut Royal Hogs, but... Bar Puck Graveyard, not something I'd expect out of him, but not going to completely count it out. I just do not think that this is the real Igor. That's going to allow the Cannon Cart to lock on 
the bar put. That was good. Get rid of the bar put, you know, quickly. Don't want it staying alive too long. Mortar's gonna lock on the tower. Don't know if there was a bit of a lag there or what, but bar putt came down late. And as a result, we're gonna get two mortar connections. I am gonna be forced to poison the graveyard though, just because, you know, my cycle wasn't great. Um, you know what, I actually could, ah, you know, I don't think I had to poison it. I, I don't think I had to, I'm regretting doing that. We're gonna get two cannon carts down. He's going to actually have to end up going for a poison on defense, so now we can end up just going ham with the cannon carts. You can see we got two cannon carts down. Are we going to get one to lock on the tower? Not really sure. Um, no, we're not, but we forced so much elixir out of him, and just this spam is kind of relentless, this game, that we've been, you know, so, just so far with the cannon carts. And you guys can see cannon cart really coming in clutch in this deck in just so many situations. Um, it's just really annoying for your opponent to keep up with the constant pressure of the cannon cart, you know? So Mortar is going to probably get a connection here. We're going to block the Knight, predicting him to go for a graveyard. He's actually not going to go for a graveyard. He was trying to juke us out, but he didn't end up doing that. I was uh, expecting the, you know, the graveyard there. I'm going to try to defend this without poisoning, because if I do, I'll have to deal with all the support cards behind, so I would rather not poison it. I'm going to instead use my support cards to defend the graveyard, and that worked out perfectly. Now we actually got a counter push, which is great for us, of course. So things are looking really solid. Really, the only way he would come back is if we somehow mess up our defense, because he needs a thousand damage to win this game, and I don't think there's any way he's going to get it. So this might even be GG right here. The graveyard's getting chipped. Cannon Cart's going to lock on the tower because he didn't have his knight in rotation. That's going to be GG. Nice win there. Don't think that was a real Igor. I'll, you know, of course, double check his profile, but, you know, I don't think that that was the real Igor. Yeah, it wasn't. And guys, um, I'm going to open up the chest and let me just grab my other phone real quick that has my mini account on it because I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the glitch I did. Um, we're going to go ahead and hope we get some Electro Giants or, um, yeah, we got Electro Giant. Let's go. Um, th those and Electro Spirits are the only cards I don't have max. So really nice 12-0. and 0. Let's go, guys. You know, it's been a while since I've gotten a 12-0 and 0 GC. I think at least a month. So it's good to get that, like, perfect, you know, GC again. Let me just quickly show you guys... Um, the glitch I actually did on my mini account that I saw someone else do on Twitter and he told me how to do it and there's a chance that I'll actually tomorrow make a video on it if it's not patched um, but you can see here look at this guys in a grand challenge I actually played with four cards and I did it again here so it's kind of hard to do so I tried to do it again but went with eight cards it probably, I have about a 50% 50 success rate with it, so I might make a video on how to do it, you know, how to do it in Grand Challenges. You probably could do it in Classic Challenges too. You can do it on Ladder though. I tried it. It didn't work, but let me know if you guys would be interested in seeing it. I thought it was a pretty cool glitch. It's going to be patched very soon though, because I think they, they're currently actually working on a patch right now for it, so I wouldn't be surprised if it'll be too late tomorrow, but yeah. I think that would be a pretty interesting video. But anyway, that's going to be it. Thanks again until next time, guys.